Okay, now for the fun of sewing these together. You got numbered, I number them all, make the right number, and stack them. Um, have all my numbers here. Anyway, I've got them all laid out where they're supposed to go now. So, find your two corners on the outside edge. You, This should be round on both sides, should be round. So start this corner and this corner. Put your needle through the bottom only. And then to make it more secure, I tie a knot in it. You just uh, tie one, that's good. And then hopefully you can see me. Go through each loop, just catch one, the back side of it, and go all the way up. Just loop it, So I started this afghan last Sunday, and I have worked nonstop, stayed up late, um, haven't got any housework done. <laughs> it's addicting, but it's all for my daughter that I love so much. So um, I, pretty much everything I make is just for my kids and my grandkids are people that I know really love my work um, because it's I'm way too slow and way too time consuming to do it for people that don't appreciate it. Okay, when you get to the corner, make sure I go in one corner and this corner and attach that. Then you bring in this other one. Hopefully I'm Showing you, you want to catch just the bottom loop of the, that corner. And then I give it a double loop in the corner just so it doesn't come undone. And then you do the bottom loops down the other side. This is just how I do it. I'm not sure how everyone does it, but so you go one side one side and that's it just hook them all together and just uh, it looks nice if you're just doing the back stitch and that's it lots of hours it actually takes me more time to sew them all together than it does to crochet them well not quite but hours and hours uh, this I have two rows of little ones and two rows of big ones left. That'll probably take me the rest of the day. Whoop. <laughs>